Hey, it's a Frank student here, and today I'm going to showcase a program where I use MD5 hashing to, let me demonstrate, create a login screen where I have a username. Let's just go down. I can create a password. Let's just do one, two, three. I will then create an account. When I create an account, if we just give it a second, I will get a data that comma separated value file where I have my in this case, username Dan, and the hashed version of the password, one, two, three. And because I now created an account having this username and this password, I am then able to log in, and it will check if one, two, three matches the hashed password saved in my data file. And if it is, I get successfully login. And let's see, for example, I added a four. So now it wouldn't match, we would just get an error message. So first, let's have a quick look of how the encryptor works, which is pretty simple because I am using the security library inside Java, which simply allows me to use something called message digest, where I simply just set it to using the MD5 hashing method. I then simply get a string input and turn this string input into a byte array. And I just very simply then uses it md.digest on my byte array and saves it as a byte array as mentioned and I then turn into big integer and then in this case into a string for me to be able to have something I can write inside a comma separated value file so how my program works if we have a look so I'm using scene builder let's have a quick look at the scene builder file oh fxml but inside the scene builder so I have my username, my password, my login button, and my create account button. And let's see, we actually had a bit of an interesting interaction where I am capturing not all of the screen, so now it should be a bit bigger. There we go, so that's the normal size. But what we very simply do, we inside our controller, have all our FXML elements. I then have our file, which is my data.csv file, comma separated value file. I then have a hash map when I load the data from my file where I have the hash map saving all the usernames and all the passwords in this hash map. So I later on can say, oh, the user input there. For example, again, I can do Dan again. And I can still do one, two, three. And I'm still able to log in. If I remember correctly, it's done with the capital D. It is case sensitive so let's see that with a large d and now i got a successful login so let's actually go through the code so firstly when we are able to create a new set inside our data file so when i create a username let's do a test username and let's do abc when i create an account it adds it to my data file by simply having my create account button which call a write to file method where I just simply get the username from the username text box get the password from the password text box I then have a buffered writer which is a new buffered writer including a new file writer and then the file I'm writing to which was my data.csv file and it is set to be a pending, so I will be adding stuff and set of this overriding. I'm able to add more users and more passwords. I then just very simply write to my file with my username, a comma, and my encrypted version of my password, where I used my encryptor I just demonstrated showcased, where I just encrypt string. So input the string, turn it into a byte array, encrypted using MD5, and then I save the encrypted version. Where I turn into first a big number and then into a string. And then we've got this, this string in this case. Then whenever I click login, I would first again get the username from the username text box, the password from the password text box. Then first I update my hash map, which contains all the usernames and the pass hashed passwords to make sure I have the newest version, which is very simply call a scanner which loads from my file scanner scanner new scanner taking the file and then first 
clear my hash map so it's empty, but then go through all the elements inside my file, where I simply say as long as the scanner just has a next line, so first it goes to the first line, we then split it using scanner.nextline then split on comma. So now I have a string array containing Dan on the index zero and this one on index one. Then simply put inside my log info my username. So my split version, so my username on index zero and my password on index one, which would mean means I will have my username as the key and the password as the value. So when I check if they match us when I log in, I update my hash map. I then get my encrypted password, which in this case is my value to the key of the username. So login info dot get using my username as the key. So in this case, I would get Dan as a key. I would then get this value saved inside this encrypted password string. I just very simply then check if my password inside the password field after being encrypted using MD5 is equals to the same password, this one in this case. So I checks if newly input password encrypted is the same as this one, which in this case would be correct if I, of course, put the correct password and the correct username. So again, one, two, three, and login, successfully login. Otherwise, in this case, I just turn on my uh, error message, error fill. So this is my version of a login system where I am using a very simple local database, just a common separated value file, and an encryptor where I am using the MD5 hashing method to save my hashed password. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.